Good afternoon, this is Pam with Follow Your Brush, and I have a new toy to play with, and I'm inviting you to come play with me. Um, if you, this is your first time watching, thank you. Please like it, subscribe. Um, I'm not making any money from this. I just do it for fun. I am a watercolor explorist. That's what I call myself. <laughs> I just like to play with everything art, everything color. That is me. An art toolkit gives me a wonderful opportunity to do this. And this was a little Christmas set they had. Um, and I took advantage of buying it, and I'm so glad I did because they sold out really, really fast. But, you know, I imagine because the response was so great, I would think they'll probably have more. This comes with, if you're not familiar with Art Toolkit, they have these wonderful paint, little paint palettes. This is their Demi size. Really tiny. It's maybe... Got a ruler here somewhere. Let's see if it's closed. It's about an inch and three quarters. It's not even quite two inches. Inch and a half and uh, two inches wide. And the colors that they have in this, this is what I chose. These are their Van Gogh, uh, this is their Van Gogh palette. And it's really a nice palette. I've had this, I've ordered this from them before. And the colors are very nice and they're very transparent and um, just do a beautiful job. Also with this little kit, they had a little water brush uh, that came with it. And they're actually introducing some new pads for painting. This one is called Agave and it's from Hanamulu. And this is a new type of watercolor paper. And it's um, 135 pound, 290 GSM. So it's a little less than what we normally do with 140 pound. Uh, it's not 100% cotton. It's got Agave fiber which is cold pressed and it's made with a type of bamboo or bamboo and 30% cotton rag. So I was very curious about that. The kit comes with this little tablet and paint set and the watercolor brush. So this is their little mini set. So you can just put it in your purse and, or whatever even your pocket, I would uh, suppose, and just take it wherever. Uh, the paper did nicely. I did this little tree, this plan. Um, it says, uh, Hanamulu has started, begun to use bamboo fibers. It's the fastest growing sustainable raw material. And um, the new me mixed media paper is 90% bamboo and 10% cotton rag. And uh, they're beginning to expand their line of paper. Hanamulu is a great paper anyway. They've been around for hundreds of years. And um, so I was excited to try to, to play with this. However, today and yesterday, when I began my little adventure with my new kit, I'm going to use... I've got a magnetic tab here. I can put my palette right there, which I really enjoy. And set this aside. And let you know that I'm using my perfect sketchbook from Etcher. Um, this is their signature series with a really nice um, leather binding. I don't know if it's real leather. It might be fall leather. Um, Fabriano paper, 100% cotton and um, it's just a wonderful paper I've done a couple things on this already there's one that I did I was just playing that's mostly what I do is play so and there's one as well but um, I had a picture reference from a friend who sent me the other night 
um, from Poland, and he was out taking a walk in the park, and it had just begun to snow. It was a fresh snowfall, and he was out just enjoying taking a walk with his friends in the park, and it was just an absolutely magical, magical scene. So um, I've been trying to paint it. Um, the hard thing with this one is to be able to keep my lights. So I came in here, this is dry, but I came in here yesterday, I actually took this with me, I had a dentist appointment, so I took it with me to the dentist, and um, just kind of began to play with it. Um, this is a transparent yellow medium, this is what they have here. I'm going to add some more. This had street lights, and the light was just magical as it was coming down onto the snow. I'm sorry, I should leave my phone in the other room. Get these alerts. Um, so I'm going to try to kind of replicate that. I want to leave it soft, though. This was a soft light um, up into the trees and the sky and then onto the ground. And so I'm intentionally leaving some areas white and I am softening this out. Now you'll notice um, I do have a little bit of a stain here from yesterday and one up here. Um, that's when they told me <laughs> it was time for me to go get my cleaning. And um, I thought I was going to have to sit a little bit longer because they were busy. So my brush tipped the page, but I'm not going to worry about that because that's going to be a tree branch in a little bit. Um, but I, I'm working on learning to preserve my light. So I want to come in here very lightly, as we do with watercolor. Start with the lights and go dark. So once you're dark, you can't get that light back. And this was so, so magical. As you can see, I already have a little bit here from yesterday. So I'm just kind of coming back in here and re-wetting. And... Um, just dropping in some more of this really pretty light that was in this picture. Now, I am not going directly by his reference. In fact, I have changed his reference photo to my own um, liking. <laughs> not that his reference photo wasn't gorgeous, but I, it, it was so pretty. I had, I had to simplify. And I had to um, watch my perspective because the people playing underneath the tree, this tree is huge. And I had my people too big in the last one that I did. And I actually may still have them a little too large in this one. But um, we're, just, we're just playing. That's what sketchbooks are for, is just to play and experiment. I did come in here with the top with this. Is It is a um, phalo blue. And that's why this stained a little bit there. That's kind of a semi-staining color or very staining and it was wet on dry. And then I added a little bit of the um, Quinn Rose um, to the sky. And uh, I like the kind of just fluffy appearance because the snow was just brilliantly shining in the trees and in the um and on the ground so I'm trying to kind of try to replicate that as much as I can um you know it's all a learning process you just kind of learn as you go and um I hate to break it to you, but as many videos as you watch and as many tutorials as you watch and how wonderfully they paint until you try it yourself, you don't know if you're going to get it right or not. So um, that's my words of wisdom for today is um, you just don't know. You just don't know. But then kind of come in here just lightly with some more of this blue. This blue is very, very, very intense. Going to add some of my 
Quinn Rose. I like this little lavender um, shade. Just kind of this area where they were snowing, I mean sledding, they were kind of on their toboggans. It's a little darker because of the tree here. So, and then the light was shining through. So I want to try to get that feeling as well as some um, as well as the light, preserving the light in the sky. And then I'm gonna have to come back after it's dry and add my, um, add my darker trees and hope that I just don't mess it up because that's a challenge, it's a challenge. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is I'm also been playing with other things as well because that's just what I do. I like to play. And um, I've been experimenting with some um, Kuretake Japanese paintings. I'm sorry, I can't talk and think at the same time. Japanese watercolors. And um, I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of information. Just really kind of hard to get a correct translation on the colors. It's uh, very nebulous. <laughs> and try to get an English translation. And um, if you've watched any of them or if you've tried them, you'll know what I'm talking about. They're they're very vibrant. I'll, I'll do another video on some of my playtime with that. But uh, right now, I just wanted to come and show you my art toolkit and what has me interested today. And that is leaving the light, leaving the light. Um, wow, it's just, it's just not easy. And um, we see these beautiful paintings, Christmas paintings with lights and streets and colors, and they're just so fun. So that's all I wanted to share with you for the moment. Um, I'm going to continue working on this, but I am going to be good. I'm going to be good. And I'm going to let it dry in between putting in new colors so I can kind of keep this light glowing. And then I'll add my... Then I'll add my trees and my little people um, that are sledding. And, oh, I wanted to tell you, I'm using a, where did I put it? thought I had it right here. I'm really bad about that. I'm sorry. I'm using a water-soluble pencil. That's not it. It's a water-soluble pencil from Graphitone. And it's a light wash. So when I put it on, I put it in my pocket. How about that? Derwent Graphitone. This is a medium wash. You can order different, so uh, different washes. Uh, I did use a light wash on this. So when I do come in with my watercolor, uh, it's water soluble and it will, as I paint, it will cover up my pencil marks, but it also gives me a light sketch that I can follow. So that's kind of important to me. I like the way this is drawing and my lights are kind of shining through. So, um, yeah having fun today hope you're having a great day getting ready for christmas and um, if you haven't checked out art toolkit please do arttoolkit.com they have the most wonderful products with these wonderful little palettes this is their demi palette so they do have other sizes but this is a fun one for christmas they did sell out rather quickly but um i think they'll probably come out with more colors because this sold out so quickly i think it surprised even them it's just a fun little kit that I bought myself as a Christmas present. Have a great day. Bye.